Well, it was a new market which was dominated by the Americans and where clearly, if the cost could be reduced substantially, the, the market could be expanded. Clive Sinclair was well known for a succession of cheap miniaturized electronic gadgets, from tiny televisions to pocket calculators. In 1980, Sinclair launched his first computer. It could be bought for £100, less if purchased as a kit, and it plugged into any television. Programs were sold on cassettes, playable by a cheap cassette recorder. Sinclair's computers took over most of the British market. And for a short time, even in America, he was selling more machines than the three market leaders put together. They turned up everywhere. There's a large number of people applying them in all sorts of ways that are unsuspected. I got into a London taxi the other day, had one of our computers built in, and he could, you gave him any destination, and he could tap it in and tell you what the cost would be.